In this movie, you take a look at managing startup templates. Start 3ds Max. If the welcome screen doesn't display, call it up from the help menu. Click the Open Template Manager link. As the name implies, this takes you to the Template Manager window. The five sample templates are listed, and by selecting one or the other, you get additional feedback on individual parameters. Before going any further, let us discuss what a default template is. You'll notice that currently, the classic startup template has a check mark in its thumbnail. This is an indication that it is set as the default template, also shown in its title. A default template goes into effect every time you restart or reset 3ds Max. In essence, since the classic template is empty to start with, Resetting 3ds Max will give you the familiar empty scene. However, try and set another template as default, such as the Architectural Outdoor 3PM template. The check mark is moved to that template, and the thumbnail moves up the list. The default template is always at the top of the list, the rest of the templates are listed alphabetically. Click Done to exit the dialog, and dismiss the welcome screen. Reset 3ds Max. Note that instead of the familiar empty space, you are now starting each new project based on the architectural 3PM template. This will remain in effect until you change it again. Go ahead and do that. Go back to the welcome screen and to the template manager window. Set the classic template back to default for now. Take a look at the other options. Most are easy enough to understand. There is an area for a short description, which shows when you hover over or select the thumbnail in the welcome screen. You usually want to keep this description short, as there is so much you can cram inside a thumbnail. In fact, the short description for the architectural template could use a little cropping, as you can see. As an example, Delete the second sentence to shorten the description further. Click Done to see the effect in the welcome screen and the better formatting of the short description. Go back to the Template Manager. Note that there is another area for a long description. And this is one that shows when you click the More link on a thumbnail in the welcome screen. Here, you have a lot more space for extra detail and you can be as generous as you like. Underneath the description sections, there are areas to define a startup max scene, a project folder, a default workspace, and a few additional options. In the interest of keeping this movie short and easy to follow, I'll cover these options in a separate movie. For now, a point of interest about the five sample templates, note that the delete button is always grayed out. This is a safety mechanism, so you don't accidentally delete any of the sample templates. There's also a reset button that is only active if you make changes to the template, as you have done with the architectural one. Hitting reset restores the template to its original condition, in this case with a more eloquent short description. To create your own templates, you can start from scratch by using the Add New button. This creates a new thumbnail named Template 1, and it's currently void of any information. You'd need to fill all the fields according to what the new template is supposed to do. Note that a custom template can be easily deleted using the Delete button, which is now active. Another way to create a new template is to duplicate an existing one. Say you like the architectural setup, but you need a more optimized one for a night scene around 10 p.m. You can select and duplicate that template and make the necessary changes to fields like title and descriptions. Of course, you'd also need a different startup max scene that needs to be optimized for 10 p.m. Again, that functionality will be covered in a separate movie. Delete the new template for now. I want to show you yet another way of duplicating the sample template. 
if you simply try to change the title of an existing sample template. This also creates a duplicate. It is a mini time saver, as it did two tasks in one, namely duplicating a template and changing its title simultaneously. Delete that newest template yet again to go back to the five sample templates. Make sure the classic startup is set to default and click Done to exit the template manager window. Exit the welcome screen altogether. Now that you know how to manage templates, the next step is to create your own using a custom startup max scene. This is covered in the movie named Creating Custom Startup Templates.